everyone, Darren here, and on today's episode of Watch the Academy, we are going to talk about blind firing. Now, blind firing is essentially just making use of various elements in the game to try and discern where a an opponent might be hiding using tracers, or it could even be something as simple as figuring out the pattern of the opponent you're shooting at, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But... I'm sure many of you at some point when you just started out and you didn't know a whole lot about the game, you took a damage or you got sh destroyed when you weren't spotted or detected or anything along those lines. And you wanted to, you didn't know what happened. You're like, how did he know I was there? I wasn't spotted. Is he cheating? And probably some other choice words, but that's not the case. Like I said, there are various elements in the game and that allow you to figure out where an enemy might be. We're going to look at tracers right now. If you focus on the screen here, I'm aimed in so that way you can try and see the tracers. My assistant here is going to try and fire some tracers and we're going to try and see if where he is. So, you know, the shot, we didn't quite see the tracer there. It ended up right in front of us. Um, but we can assume here if they adjust their aim a little bit more to, you know, left or right, we will be able to try and figure out where they are. Oh, if you notice right there on the left, there was the tracer. So we can kind of assume that they are in this bush somewhere. So just taking a wild guess that he's hiding right behind this big bush, I'm going to fire a shot. If you notice there, I damaged him. By simply looking for the tracers, you will you might have a pretty good chance of figuring out where they might be hiding. Of course, you're not going to get it on the first try, but you know it might take a couple times. Or even shooting in that person's general direction is going to kind of scare them enough to relocate or just stop shooting altogether. So for this demonstration, we're going to look a little bit more into a, a mind game that's really the best way i can put it of anticipating your opponent that is probably the better term for it so what we have here is i'm sure we've been we've all done this or we've all been in the situation where an enemy keeps popping keeps going back to the same location after they go undetected and if that doesn't quite understand you'll see it here so i have my assistant again he's in a light tank he's hidden over here in this direction he's going to shoot all right he's going to shoot he's going to fire oh there he is he's been spotted he's going to roll out of cover before i can aim in on him all right and now he's now you know now now he's waiting he's he's waiting to get undetected or whatever it is i'm doing something else because i've been spotted i'm shooting something else oh he's gone on detected all right he's going to you know, I don't know what's going on. You know, I'll probably fire at me again. Who knows? Oh, oh, he's there. He's okay. He's there. He's spotted. All right, all right. And now, he, I mean, okay. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. And then fool me a third time. I probably know where you are this time. So you know, I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, and oh, what do you know? I damaged him. He was there. He went back to his location. If he doesn't, it always helps to put a second shot back in there just in case you tracked him. Because if you did track him, because you, you don't know what damage you did if you did a, if you when you get that critical hit. You might have hit their tracks. You might have just hit their fuel tank or something. Who knows? But it's always a good idea to put a second follow-up shot if you do deal damage to a vehicle because again if you tracked them you get a second chance at damage and two if you didn't track them and they still happen to be hiding there you still have a chance of doing damage or you, you scare them off enough to have, okay this position isn't safe anymore now we're going to go take a look at one more thing which is you can blind fire when someone is out of your render range, but they are still within range of your gun. 
So let's go take a look at that. Now, this recording is freeze-framed, and it's not mine. It's taken by one of my assistants. Um, this situation is where you are driving around, or maybe uh, a other situation is where, you know, basically just a vehicle is out of your, your render range. You can't spot them. You can't physically see them. But if you look at the mini-map, there's that white line. That white line is the actual distance that a round from your gun will travel. Um, so, and it also is where are you aiming as well. It doubles as that. Um, and in this replay, this very, very short clip, you're going to see such a case happen of where he looks, just takes a blind shot in a general direction he knows tanks might be, and you'll see the result. So, let's take a look. So he's just driving along, driving along, not really, you know, nothing nothing out of the ordinary. But you're gonna see here, he's gonna turn his turret. He's gonna take a wild shot, hits a tank. That's not cheating, that's just pure luck because he knows that there are people going that general direction. And if you have that knowledge and some, there are even people out there that are just really good at timing and you're like okay it takes this amount of time to get here and it was perfectly timed you know they can sometimes you can just perfectly time a shot and get something but you know yeah this isn't cheating it's you cannot cheat in this game um but you know when people say they're you know someone's cheating more than likely it is because they got blind fired and they didn't realize that this is something that is an everyday occurrence in the game. And that concludes today's video on blind firing. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. But until next time, this has been Darren of Watsy Academy.